You can go first. Okay. Hey, Laura. Um, how are you and the team feeling generally after Sunday's game and having to play out? Yeah, I think obviously our sole target was to win the game um, and have our destiny in our own hands, which we did, and I thought it was a good performance by us. I feel that that performance has been coming. We've, been, we've had a couple of good performances lately. Um, so, yeah, clean sheet, three goals. Couldn't ask for more, really. Um, and, yeah, obviously really looking forward to having a home playoff. And how do you feel about the sort of short turnaround in games, having a little less rest for your players and less preparation time? Yeah, it's all, obviously always challenging, but um, I think we obviously came back in today and everyone's in a, in a positive mood and very focused on the next challenge, which obviously comes around quick, so would we prefer more rest, of course, but it is what it is. Um, and then you mentioned some good performances lately. Angel City obviously put five goals past Portland on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, how do you, do your defensive plans change at all from the previous times you've played them because of their recent form? No, not really. I think that um, they've been obviously been on an amazing run um, to get themselves in the playoffs and um, you could see that in their performance on Sunday. Um, but no, I think they've they've always been a threat. They've always created opportunities, and um, on Sunday they they tell it to all go in. So, you know, I think scoring five goals on anyone feels great. Um, uh, but I think that we just have to make sure that we're prepared the best we possibly can to try and prevent their opportunities as much as possible. Um, a couple more. Um, always got to ask about sort of elephant in the room, the playoff record. Um, the team talked about it after the Challenge Cup semi-final and sort of the disappointment having talked about it as a team and not having won playoff games. Um, what, have, what have the team conversations been around that this time around? We haven't had any yet. We haven't had time. Um, but I think we know what's at stake. We feel like we've been playing that. I think Sunday was a playoff game. You know, if we didn't win on that game, we were out. So I think we showed our mentality that we know that we can do that. Um, and we need to take that in, that feeling into into Friday because I think, you know, when playoffs come around, I think for us, we always concentrate on performance and in playoff games we often do perform well um, but haven't got the result that we need. So I think for us it's about that balance of making sure our performance is at the level we want whilst knowing that getting the result is the most important thing. Um, have you seen the new trophies yet that were released today? Um, briefly. Well, okay, so what are your thoughts generally on the league redesigning the trophy then for the first time since 2013? Do we all get one? Unfortunately, no. Okay. <laughs> so everyone that's won in the past doesn't get new ones, sweet. Um, and then, um, just wondering how Rose is doing. Notice she would seem to be um, training fully and she's had a lot of injuries this year, so I know you can't really speculate this early how many minutes she'll play, but how is she doing? You feel like she's yeah, she's, she's back in full training, so I think that um, we take every day as it comes with players coming back from injury. And, you know, she was available to us on Sunday if we needed her and we didn't. So we can obviously plan the week ahead knowing that we didn't have to put her in something probably a little bit too early, but have a really good, you know, three days of training with her and then make a decision going into Friday. I just have a couple of questions for you. Do you do you guys find yourselves getting back to normal after all the hype last week? Yeah, it was pretty easy for us, honestly. I think that um, we've been in business mode for probably a month, knowing that every game we played had such big ramifications on it. Um, and we've gone and beaten, really, in that period. Uh, we haven't got the wind that, we ought, that would have made it a little bit easier, but I think that uh, the reality was probably finishing the top four was a target for us and getting a home playoff which we got um i would have loved to have not made it all down to sunday but i think that um we've been in this mode for a while now of knowing that we need to turn up and we need to perform we need to turn up we need to perform and i felt like we did that against north carolina i felt like we did that against washington we didn't quite get the results massively that we wanted but then it all came together on sunday so honestly it's just been I feel like the team's got a really uh, quick turnaround of just being locked in very quickly on what Friday's about. So the quick turnaround helps with that because there's not a lot of time. Um, but yeah, fully focused on what we need to do on Friday. You mentioned Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, offense wasn't an issue. Yeah. What do you? Um, what, what, what will it take to keep that going? Yeah, I think just understanding what we did really well in that game. We probably could have scored a minimum of three more too. So I think the chances created was a big thing for us. Um, 
being clinical in those moments is something that we'll continue to talk about. But I think just putting our, putting our sort of stamp on the game was a big indicator for Sunday. We started on the front foot from minute one and we're gonna have to do that again on Friday. Seems like Megan was motivated. Um, who's carrying who in this playoff run? <laughs> I think, you know, we've always said that we're a collective as a team, but we always need our big hitters to step up and she's a big hitter, you know, she's a big player. She knows what it takes in these big moments. And on Sunday, you know, she, she came up with magic when we really needed it. And hopefully she can do the same again on Friday. And talk a little bit about the matchup, Angel City, um, the matchup with Angel City. What, um, what will be the key on Friday to win this game? Yeah, I think you've got to respect where they're at. I think obviously we played them early in this run um, away down in Angel City and didn't get the result. But I feel like we probably should have and could have scored more goals in that game. I think the key to playing them is you've got to be defensively solid. Um, and you've got to get after them with the ball, uh, move the ball quickly, create opportunities in transition, which I think is a huge threat of ours. So I think they're the keys to the matchup. That's it for me. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks, everyone.